the Bears' hard-to-hide secret weapon has become a short yardage expert. If I was a linebacker and I saw him coming to me, I'd turn and run. I think you got to have a little bit of fun in football, and it's fun for him. You know, he, he feels like he's involved. He feels like, uh, you know, he's contributing. But the fun could be over for the undefeated Bears if their quarterback, Jim McMahon, banged around last Monday night by the Packers, is troubled by a hip bruise and a tender ankle. The number two man, Steve Fuller, is also playing hurt with a back injury. That would leave Ohio State rookie Mike Tomczak. 24 years ago, a Georgia rookie quarterback, Fran Tarkenden, led the expansion Minnesota Vikings to their first victory in the NFL, an upset of the powerful Chicago Bears. Tarkenton's successor is the dangerous Tommy Kramer, whose touchdown pass to Leo Lewis in the closing seconds gave Minnesota a win last Sunday over San Diego. Today, Kramer leads the Vikes against favored Chicago. Can Minnesota be the first team to upset the unbeaten Bears? CBS Sports presents... The National Football League. Today, the Minnesota Vikings against the Chicago Bears. Live from Soldier Field in Chicago, the Vikings at 4-3 and, and the Chicago Bears unbeaten with seven consecutive wins. Perfect afternoon for football, 54 degrees, wins from the north. Hello, everybody. I'm Tim Ryan with Johnny Morris here at Soldier Field. And, Johnny, a key game for the Vikings. It certainly is, Tim. As you see, the Bears are 7-0. If the Vikings don't win, they would be four games behind Chicago. A division title would be almost impossible. They'd have to fight for a wild-card spot. So this is a big game for both teams, but especially the Minnesota.